Welcome to the short book summaries channel if you are new to this channel kindly consider subscribing this channel to stay updated on each new book coming to this world. In case you like and want to buy this book the link is given in the description below. Now enjoy the summary. We think we're relating to other people but actually we're all playing games. 40 years ago, games people play revolutionized our understanding of what really goes on during our most basic social interactions. More than 5 million copies later, Dr. Eric Byrne's classic is as astonishing and revealing as it was on the day it was first published. This anniversary edition features a new introduction by Dr. James R. Allen, President of the International Transactional Analysis Association, and Kurt Vonnegut's brilliant Life magazine review from 1965. We play games all the time sexual games, marital games, power games with our bosses, and competitive games with our friends. Detailing status contests like Martini, I know a better way, to lethal couples combat like if it weren't for you and uproar, to flirtation favorites like the stocking game and lets you and him fight, Dr. Byrne exposes the secret ploys and unconscious maneuvers that rule our intimate lives. Explosive when it first appeared, Games People Play is now widely recognized as the most original and influential popular psychology book of our time. It's as powerful and eye-opening as ever. I've read this book two times, this is the third book written by Professor Eric Byrne, which I've read up to now, and I believe this is the best one. It's hard to explain how much I've learned from this book, I think I should read the book once more to learn some new things. This book shows you the games which are behind the human's relationships, it believes that a great number of human's relations are a kind of game indeed. But at the end of the book, Professor Eric Byrne explains that the highest kind of relationship is love, and, of course, he explains how it is. This a an excellent readable and practical explanation of destructive social interactions, he breaks down common patterns, this is from the 60s so there are variations now, and shows easy ways to identify games that people are acting out, and what it looks like to live game-free. Burn is funny and insightful. It is a shame that so few people I know really are willing to look deeply at these kinds of issues. Sort of like feminism I find an attitude of we're past that, but then I see all the problems people have with successful relationships, and a lack of interest in looking at how to solve the issues that keep coming up.